So, I got some uh, more live treats for my uh, venomous snakes. Uh, so let's see how it goes. This is the uh, striped morph pygmy rattlesnake. This is Trorus meliarius baburi. Let's see if he is interested. Uh, I didn't show him on the channel before. Uh, but he's a very beautiful snake. He's right out of shed. And the camera doesn't even uh, pick up fully how beautiful he is. Oh, there we go. Oh. He is uh, oftentimes uh, very afraid of the rodent. Um, so sometimes he freaks a bit out, but I think he's gonna stay inside uh, his cage this time. Let's see. See the. Yeah, he's uh, keen on just uh, biting it once and then getting away from it. Um, you need to keep in mind that the prey items they uh, hunt in the wild would obviously be much more defensive than uh, these mice I buy from the pet store, which don't really know what's going on, but I think that uh, mouse is definitely envenomated, see? It's just gonna die right there, I think. And he's already looking for his meal, so uh, let's go on to the next one already, I guess. And uh, next up is the cotton mouth. This is the male one. Ooh, there we go. That's a very nice strike from him. Delivered a perfect strike right to the head of that mouse, see? Very precise for sure. And this is the Florida cotton mouth to be exact, Achistrodon conanti. I have a breeding pair of this species. There we go. They do interbreed with uh, the other uh, cotton mouths and former cotton mouth subspecies as well, though. They are integrates and they also hybridize with uh, copperheads theoretically, but obviously, I do prefer to. Uh, Keep the bloodline separate. There we go. And as you can see, he started uh, eating that mouse right away now. Uh, the rodent pretty much passed away right away. Obviously, uh, when the venom gets delivered right into the head, uh, it don't uh, last very long at all. And um, let's see how long he actually uh, takes for. Uh, swallowing that mouse, I'm not gonna speed this up. He's usually uh, reasonably fast. Because obviously it's just a small prey item. He actually eats uh, two or three of these every time uh, he's getting a meal. To ensure he is uh, uh, properly fed as well, of course. <coughs> There we go. Uh, almost uh, completely done with that mouse. Like I'm gonna throw in another uh, rodent for him right away afterwards. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna film that. Actually, uh, I think I'm gonna uh, film the Crotalus pifanorum next. The neotropical rattlesnake. So uh, let's see how that goes. But uh, as you can see, he's uh, basically finished now already, yeah? Very nice. So, just like I said, I'm gonna feed the Pifanorum next up. Uh, he's a male specimen and uh, he's gonna be hungry for sure. He's right out of shed. So he's looking extra beautiful as well with the high contrast coloration. Which uh, actually not all Pifanorum specimens have. Oh, there we go. Delivered his strike already. And uh, as I wanted to say, not all uh, Pifanorum specimens uh, have the same uh, black and uh, white coloration like this. Some are just uh, kind of grey. But there are some uh, very beautiful uh, bluish specimens as well. But they are actually very rare, and they are only in uh, U.S. collections, as far as I know. Uh, sadly, uh, impossible uh, to get out of there and import it into Europe, at least uh, from what I've been told. 
Ah, there we go. See the envenomation effect there? Obviously, with that uh, neotropical venom, it's not going to take very long at all. Uh, they have some uh, very potent uh, neurotoxic venom in particular, as you probably know already. There we go. Yeah, he's still rattling. Usually, he stops doing that uh, as soon as he spots the mouse. There we go, I think it passed on, oh, never mind. Still alive. But it is about to be done, so uh, I think I'm gonna move on over to the next snake now. So, next up is uh, one of my personal favorites for sure, and a snake I actually didn't show on the channel before, I think. Uh, this is the Denakistrodon Acutus, of course. Uh, sharp nosed pit viper. Oh, there we go. Also known as the Chinese copperhead. Even though they are uh, no longer considered Akistrodon, they were moved in a uh, um, monotypic genus now, a long time ago actually. As they are very unique pit vipers for sure. See, very nice. So I'm actually gonna uh, try and film him uh, eating another one. Um, he usually eats like three to five mice uh, every time I give him a meal because obviously he is uh, quite a sizable pit viper in comparison, and a single mouse uh, wouldn't do much for him. But he does always wait for the perfect moment to strike when the mouse looks away. See, there we go. Just like I said, he is uh, always uh, very patient when uh, hunting his prey because obviously he probably knows that uh, he got that mouse wi right where he wants him. There we go. And. Uh, you can uh, probably imagine, but he does have some uh, very sizable fangs in particular. I'm actually gonna try and show you um, when I'm gonna uh, film the uh, actual feeding process. He usually shows his fangs then. So see, you can uh, kind of see the fang right there. As he's moving uh, one fang forward at a time to uh, gulp down that mouse. Very nice. Uh, Again, this is uh, probably not a uh, snake you want to get bit by. It's uh, actually one of the worst, uh, would be one of the worst uh, viper bites uh, imaginable, probably. I th think like a uh, full bite from a gaboon viper would uh, probably be worse. But this is right up there, you know. And uh, they do require a specific anti-venom. Um, which I don't have, of course. I don't think people understand how hard it actually is to acquire any kind of anti-venom, depending on where you're from. Um, but So my best bet is just to uh, not get bitten, obviously. And uh, he's a, a well-behaved snake, so I don't worry too much, but you do need to keep uh, a reasonable amount of respect for an animal with the kind of potential like him. Like he has enough venom in store to kill uh, several humans for sure. They are known as the 100 Pacer Pit Viper as well. You know, in reference to the amount of steps you have uh, left to make when after you are bitten by uh, one of these. And uh, again, they uh, are very agile as well. They are similar in behavior to Lancet Pit Vipers almost. Uh, they have uh, up to two meters strike range, which is kind of insane, but again, they are well behaved in captivity for the most part. So, last but definitely not least is the, the Puff Adder, Beatus Arietans. There we go. He uh, is always in for a treat, of course. Very hungry snake. There we go, very beautiful as well. Someone wrote in the comments that he has like a picture of himself on his head. And kind of looks like it, see? 
with that uh, uh, interesting uh, pattern he has going on there. Very beautiful. Yeah. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, little track compilation as well. I actually have uh, another one recorded already, uh, which I'm going to post in a few days probably as well. So uh, if you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And uh, see you in the next one.